In this video, I'm going to show you how to break up this rational expression into a partial fraction. Now, there are many different types of um, rational expression that can be broken up into a partial fraction, but we'll get to the other types in later videos. So first of all, why would we want to simplify this? What are the benefits of simplifying this type of rational expression? Let's say we wanted to integrate this expression with respect to x. If we decompose this into simpler fractions, integration becomes easier. So it's a lot easier integrating partial fractions than it is to integrate this. But we're going to leave integration for a later lesson. What we're going to do in this lesson is simply break this up into its partial fractions. So let's do that. So before we proceed, we need to make sure the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, which it is in this case. If we had something like this, x squared minus 4x plus 8 over x squared minus 6x plus 8, we would need to adopt a different procedure in order to generate the partial fractions for this rational expression. And again, we'll do that in the upcoming lessons. The next thing we need to do is to see whether this polynomial can be factored. If it can't be factored, we need to adopt a different procedure. And this is why I'm going to break up these lessons into various videos. So if you've studied polynomials in a previous lesson, you'll know that you can see whether this can be factored by using this equation here. Where b is equal to minus 6, a is equal to 1, and c is equal to 8. And if this gives us a whole number, then we know we can factor this polynomial. So because we've got a whole number here, we know we can factor this polynomial. So first, let's find the factors of a multiplied by c. Given these factors here, which one can we add or subtract to get minus 6? Well, if we minus 2 and then minus 4, we get minus 6. And if we multiply minus 2 by minus 4, we get positive 8. So our factors are x minus 2 and x minus 4. And we can quickly test our working here by multiplying this out. So x squared minus 2x minus 4x plus 8. x squared minus 6x plus 8, which is correct. So with each of these factors, so we now assume that each of these simple factors in the denominator gives rise to a single partial fraction. In other words, we can write the left side of the equation here as a over x minus 2 plus b over x minus 4, where a and b are constants. But we can now add these two fractions together. So the easiest way to get the lowest common multiple for the denominators here is simply to multiply them together. So we have x minus 2 multiplied by x minus 4, which is the same as this polynomial here. But we also have to multiply a by x minus 4 and b by x minus 2. And that equals 8x minus 28. And because this is an identity, because the right-hand side of the equation is just an alternative way of writing the left-hand side of the equation, the same is true with the denominators. We're only interested in finding the constants a and b here. So we can ignore 
the denominator at the bottom and just write out the numerator above. Now in order to separate out one of these constants here, we need to make one of these factors equal zero. If we want this factor to equal zero, we let x equal two, because two minus two is equal to zero. And this will cancel out the b term, so we can simply focus on the a term here. So if we let x equal to two, we know that two times eight is 16 minus 28, which is equal to a multiplied by two minus four. So that means we've got minus 12 on, so that means we've got minus 12 on the left hand side and minus two a on the right hand side. So a is equal to six. Now we can cancel out the a term here and work on the b and work on the b constant. So in order to make the a term zero, we need x to equal four. So four minus four is, is equal to zero. So we let x equal four, which means four times eight is 32 minus 28 is equal to b multiplied by 4 minus 2 and this equals 4 which equals 2b and therefore b is equal to 2. So we can plug these constant values into our partial fraction up here and that gives us our solution. So a is 6 and b is 2. Now it's always best to check our answer. So if we've got two fractions here, 6 over x minus 2 plus 2 over x minus 4, we find the lowest common multiple of the denominator, which is x minus 2, x minus 4. We multiply the 6 by x minus 4, 6 x minus 4 plus 2x minus 2. And then we simplify 6x minus 24 plus 2x minus 4 over x squared minus 2x minus 4x plus 8. And that gives us an answer of 8x minus 28 divided by x squared minus 6x plus 8, which should equal our original partial fraction up here. So this answer is correct.